Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Tuesday. So today I am sharing uh, a perfume review, if you will. <laughs> Um, these products are brand new from Nest, and typically here on my channel, I don't actually normally review like individual perfumes. I will often mention my favorite perfume of the week in my um, my weekly beauty favorites, my Friday favorites and flops, or I will mention um, sort of my top, I don't know, like 10 perfumes of like the spring and summer or something like that. Um, or share perfume collection videos, but I don't typically review individual perfume items. But I thought that since these products are so new and so innovative <laughs> from Nest, that it would be worth um, sharing my thoughts. And what we are talking about today are the brand new perfume oils from Nest. So originally in my Sephora um, uh, wish list video, I did share that I was thinking about getting the Madagascar vanilla perfume in the roller ball. However, um, when this little set popped up, I thought, you know what? I'm actually kind of curious to try all of the scents and the collection, and this seemed a really great way to do it. This is called the Perfume Oils Collection, and this contains um, the five different perfumes that were released in this particular collection thus far. I don't know if more of them are coming in the future. Um, I, I wanted to try these because, as you guys know, I am a loyal lover of um, especially three Nest fragrances. I tend to love all of the Nest fragrances and the candles as well, but there are three perfumes from Nest that I love and have loved for years. First, Midnight Floor, so beautiful. Black Tulip, absolutely gorgeous. And let us not forget Indigo, which is also incredibly beautiful and just so seductive. Um, those three fragrances in particular are maybe a little bit more on the heavy side. They tend to not really be like light spring and summer fragrances. I mean, I guess with indigo, you could kind of wear that and have it be appropriate during the spring and summer. But for the most part, I really tend to favor those particular scents in the fall and the winter and then maybe early spring, but then they become a little too heavy almost. These I thought would be fantastic for the summertime. So um, the set is, what was it? This is $45, it's an $87 value. Um, you get the five in here and the, these are tiny. These are tiny, you guys. <laughs> Which I think is you know kind of the point here. You are supposed to be able to try the different fragrances. So I stuck them all back in here, but let's pop them back out. I just, the packaging is to die for. This would be a very nice gift for someone if you know they really like fragrances. But do stay tuned because I do have some key, some key observations here, <laughs> which make me think, Really, Laura? <laughs> so, all right, so these, these they're they are tiny. Here it is, I, I mean, I have a huge face, so keep that in mind, but these are little. So each of these are how many ounces? Uh, 0.1 fluid ounce is the size of each of these for a total of a half fluid ounce between the five. Okay. I'm gonna start with the Madagascar Vanilla. By the way, I am gonna pull up the descriptions here so that I can give you guys the descriptions that um, Nest gives for these, and then I'll tell you what I smell, and then let's get into let's get into my thoughts. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Madagascar Vanilla, which was the one that I really wanted. And fun fact, this actually isn't my favorite out of all of them, <laughs> which is kind of crazy, but so. The Madagascar Vanilla Perfume says, um, capture the allure of Madagascar's rich landscape with the warm essence of vanilla bean, this subtle floress, floracy, floralcy. Flor I have never heard of this word in my life. 
F L O R A L C Y <laughs> of vanilla orchid and a hint of coconut. So these are little little tiny roller balls. It's a really nice vanilla, don't get me wrong. It actually, to me, it smells like a really nice combination of a not crazy gourmand vanilla, but definitely borderline foodie vanilla combined with coconut. The coconut that's in here is delightful. I really actually like this scent a lot and it's really, really pleasant. It's also nice and light. If you are someone who wants to find a perfume that um, isn't going to give you a headache, I feel like this is probably it. Next, let's go in with Indian Jasmine. So Indian Jasmine is, um, let's see here, they say, immerse yourself in the lush jasmine fields of India with an intense jasmine absolute surrounded by bright red berries, sparkling bergamot, and spicy pink pepper. Okay, so let's see what I can give you guys from this one. There is, there is a real nice freshness to this one that I really wasn't actually expecting. The jasmine that's in here is beautiful. It's a little bit different from the jasmine that I actually normally work with when I'm doing wedding flowers. I will oftentimes um, use jasmine because the tendrils are like such nice curly little like, they just have the most interesting shape and they lend themselves really nicely to those boho bouquets where you kind of have things going every which direction or a cascading bouquet if you are looking for a cascade that isn't like, you know, like the 1980s uh, rose and carnation waterfall situation. The You can definitely smell that pink pepper in here. It is definitely, it's very noticeable. And the bergamot definitely comes through as well. Bergamot to me can very easily go masculine very quickly. This doesn't. This combined, the bergamot combined with the jasmine makes this very feminine and very unique. This is actually, it's a great scent, you guys. I didn't think I was going to love this one. I actually really like this one a lot. Um, next, we're going to go, I'm going to, I'm going to talk about my favorite, you guys. It was the Seville Orange. <laughs> this is, this is to die for in terms of like, the scent itself, it's beautiful. So um, Seville's vibrant spirit comes to life through notes of effervescent orange zest, tart pink grapefruit, and juicy mandarin with floral neroli and cedarwood. By the way, neroli is basically orange blossom. Um, so that's oftentimes when you see neroli in a perfume descriptions, why you think like, oh, it kind of smells a little bit like oranges. It's orange blossom, that's why. Um, I'm gonna put this one over on this wrist on the opposite side. By the way, these are really nice to be able to mix and match with each other, which is why I think this set is kind of nice. Um, you guys, it's so good. If you will take a back, uh, take a little, uh, trip down memory lane with me back to like the 1990s and the body shop when they used to do their perfume oils and they had the Satsuma. I almost get some Satsuma vibes from this, but I think it's actually the Mandarin that's coming through to me. You can definitely smell that fresh, juicy grapefruit and that bright, vibrant, fresh, like, like you just cut open the most perfect orange of your life. Like that sweet, juicy citrus. This is absolutely, hands down, probably one of the most delicious summer fragrance options that you could come across. Like it's so, so good. Two more. Turkish Rose. Um, I'm going to put this a little further up here on my arm. By the way, these are really nice in terms of like getting them in a rollerball format. I have to admit, this was probably my least favorite out of all of them. But that being said, it's not a bad scent. It's just a very, it's a very unique.
unique rose. It almost has some notes of, and bear with me here, like Luden's cherry cough drop. I know, it's, it sounds kind of crazy. If you get this set, you have to tell me what you think. But he, here's what they say. So they say Turkish rose. Wander through Turkey's legendary rose fields with notes of dewy rose, black plum, hints of saffron warmed by blonde woods. Obviously, cherry cough drop is not in the description here. But whatever combination is in here is making me think cherry cough drop. It's not bad, and it's and who knew that cherry cough drop combined with a very like modern, sophisticated rose could make something that is actually somewhat enjoyable, but it is, it's nice. It's just that it's my least favorite out of all of them, to be totally honest, but it is nice. Now, the last one is one that I originally had kind of absolutely zero interest in, but, Again, nice to be able to try it. So I'm going to put that over on this arm. And this is the South Pacific Sandalwood. This, this is pure sandalwood. If you love sandalwood, you're going to need to try this one. Escape to the arboreous isles of the South Pacific with the concentrated essence of um, island sandalwood, fresh violet leaves, and earthy vertebrae. Um, there is an earthiness to this for sure, but because it's sandalwood, I kind of feel like those two almost go hand in hand. It's so strange because it's it's a nice, really pleasant sandalwood. It's just, it's not my favorite in this format. It's not terrible, but you do have to like those earthy sandalwood notes and you do have to like vertiver, vertiver, vetiver. There we go, vetiver. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you have to smell all of these because in some way or another, each is so unique and so well done. Um, these are all incredibly lovely, unique, different scents that I think nothing else on the market really touches right now. But let's get into why I think there is also just a slight bit of ridiculousness with these, and that is around the price point. The full size of these um, perfume oils, hang on, now I wanna make sure I give you the right price. Let's pull up the Seville Orange since that's my favorite. Um, you guys, $98 for one ounce, if you were to buy the Seville Orange by itself, it's $98 for one ounce. Um, the, by the way, the roller balls, if you wanted uh, a, like, I don't want to say full size, but a roller ball size of the Seville Orange, the size of that is 0.27 ounces. And um, that retails for $35. That is currently out of stock on the Sephora website. So I have a feeling a lot of people probably maybe pick this one up in the rollerball. Um, the reviews of this are that um, just in general, like when you're looking at the reviews of all the different Nest perfume oils is that they smell amazing. They're beautiful. They don't, however, have any lasting power on the skin. And I am someone who normally gets like a decent amount of lasting power out of a perfume. Most perfumes react really well with my chemistry. And I do find that oftentimes if I go outside and it's kind of warmer out and my skin warms up, the perfume sort of activates again and I really get a nice new whiff or if I'm working out, um, the perfume that I put on during the morning sort of like reactivates on me. I have actually worked out with these on my skin and I can't smell anything. <laughs> Honestly, after I apply them, I can't smell anything. And when I wear perfume, it truly is um, for me. Um, the oil, by the way, that they use here as the carrier oil is baobab oil. So it's it's nice and hydrating. It is nourishing. Um, you know, you can definitely see a little bit of a 
I don't think you'll be able to see it on my arm, but there is a little bit of like a sheen. Um, and you can certainly just rub that into the skin. And it's not, it's nice. Like the, the thing is these smell so good, but I just can't smell them <laughs> after I put them on. In fact, right now, like as I go to kind of like sniff things, like I'm, it's so light. They're really, really light. And I think for me, it's the price point that's the real killer here. $98 for an ounce of perfume, I don't think is necessarily unheard of, but usually those perfumes have a lasting power of some kind. This just doesn't on me. And like I said, normally I don't have an issue with perfumes lasting on my skin. Because this is an oil, I obviously wouldn't put it on my clothing, but sometimes I also will spritz like my shirt just a little bit with a perfume. And I find that, you know, that also helps to um, add a little bit of extended wear to my fragrance because typically, you know, the shirt when it's moving around will release the fragrance a little bit. I can't do that with these because they're an oil. Even when you purchase them in the large, like $98 size, it's like it's a dropper. You take the dropper out and you put your little drops of perfume on your skin and you do your little tap tap. You're not, you're not supposed to rub. Like I got yelled at plenty of times at Sephora when I was looking at the perfumes and I, you know, did this little number, you'll bruise the fragrance. Um, I still do it, it's fine. I, I don't really smell like my fragrance is bruised, but um, yeah, I just, I really wish that the lasting power was there for these because I would absolutely, at the very least, I would probably end up buying the roller balls for at least three of these. Uh, namely the Seville Orange, the Madagascar Vanilla, and the Indian Jasmine. But actually, I, if, if there was lasting power, I would actually pay for a full size of the Seville Orange. Like that is how much I love it. And you guys, now I can blow money on perfume like it's going out of style. But the fact that this just doesn't last on me just makes it not worth spending the money on, even during the sale when I can get it for 20% off. It just, I have to be able to smell it because that is why I wear perfume. I don't necessarily wear it for other people. I wear it for me. And if even I can't smell it, like as I'm going throughout my day, then I just, I guess I don't see the purpose. Um, that being said, I don't think I'm going to return this set because it, it was $45 and I did get it for 20% off. So I feel like I'm just going to kind of keep it and use them, maybe pop them in my purse or something. Um, if anything, I can use them just to like stick under my nose, <laughs> get like a pick me up or something, but it's the lasting power. You guys, it kills me and I, and it's nest. I love, I usually love nest anything, but I feel like this is one where they just kind of miss the mark in terms of the lasting power. Normally, Nest perfumes have zero issue with me in terms of lasting power. In fact, I would say most of them actually probably last throughout the vast majority of the day without me needing to reapply them in any kind of way. And I'm happy to reapply, don't get me wrong. But if I can't even smell it five minutes after putting it on, I kind of feel like it defeats the purpose, right? Like, to me, it defeats the purpose. So I don't want to scare you guys off from these, but what I would say is before spending the money on the one ounce $98 size of any of these, I would consider getting this set, which by the way, I will link down below in the description box. I would get the set or I would get one of the roller balls first and see how it does with your skin. Maybe it's a body chemistry thing, but like I said, if I had issues with other fragrances, I would say my fault, but I, I don't I don't think so here. <laughs> I don't think this one is is my fault, but definitely invest in this or go ahead and snag one of these smaller roller balls and see what the wear power is on you um, because they really are delicious scents. They're so good and they're so well done. I will say, if Laura ever decides to turn any of these into regular perfumes in her like normal lineup, 
hands down, I'd buy. Like I would buy immediately at least a couple of them. Um, but in this format, the oils just aren't doing it for me. So, sorry. <laughs> I feel bad giving them kind of a review, but I don't know. I, I just, I can't give them like two thumbs up, not with them not having any staying power. Because to me, that's kind of the point of a perfume, right? All right. Hopefully this was helpful. Again, I'll put a link for them down below. Go read up other people's reviews. I'm finding that what I'm seeing is that most people love the scents. It's the lasting power that just isn't there for the vast majority. So at least I know I'm not the only one. All right, let me know if you guys have any questions at all. Um, stay tuned for another video tomorrow. So please subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you in the next one. Toodaloo.